On today's show, we'll be talking about what's the difference between Erasma and Blue Park. Welcome to Miller's Concepts. My name is Randy Miller, and today we'll be talking about augmented reality. And specifically, we'll be talking about what's the difference between Blip Arp and Erasma. Here we go. All right, what is augmented reality? Well, it's an interactive image, basically, to a point. And it's the wave of the future. So basically, you can take an image and you can apply advertising onto it or videos or anything like that. Now we'll be talking about the Blip Arp. Blip Arp is a UK product and actually an app. It's free. So when you uh, download the app and start it up and you take, uh, they, there's only a handful of images out there right now. So you take the, that and it becomes lifelike. Sorry. So you can, you can touch those buttons and you can add things to it. I mean, uh, you can go to the website, you can play the jukebox and listen to music. And also, here's one more. And this is what you see. You can see that. So that one tells the weather and you can actually go to the, their, their Facebook and receive other things, the promotions. This is the grocery store and uh, that would take, this is inter, you know, all, they're all, all interactive, click the buttons and go to whatever channel they want to go and, and this is very very well done. Alright, now the negative part about Blipharp is basically uh, the companies have to go to them, the, the businesses have to go to them and then uh, they, and that's fine, and that's the way their businesses run. Uh, no one can be a developer, no one can actually own or do their own channels and also uh, images only go to them and, and that's, the, that's the negative part. Alright, now we're going to be talking about Erasma. Erasma is the same kind of process, this is a little different, a little different nuggets here and there. Let me start up Erasma. Same kind. Okay, this is what I, I built, and I, there, there's more things coming to this this um, product, but basically this is the Idaho wine, and on the left hand side you see a little button right there, and you actually click on that little button, and it'll take you to the website. And I'm gonna have rolls of button on here, and then right there I'm gonna have a video going and everything explaining what Idaho wine is all about and everything. Um, let's see. Oh, here's another one. I just took a picture of this, and then anyone could do this, okay? Uh, this is Costco. So you take a picture of that, and this is the cool part. Okay, now watch. Now if I twist the magazine, that's hard to do with this, I can look into the room. Isn't that cool? So if we can design something that suit your business or anything like that that would be great all right now same thing it will um let's see if i get a little closer than that okay that's another level as you can see i, I can go to the website the cold springs website or you can watch a video and i'm gonna add a little more buttons on the side uh to to add that Okay, the remarkable thing about this is, so if someone likes the Cold Springs Winery, let's see if I can do this on here without whiting you guys out. You can go, uh, there's that little tower button and you can scribe down there and you, there's a little map right here. So if you're close to the, the Cold Springs Winery, they, they actually you can do is you can uh, pretend like this is the Cold Springs Winery right here. If I can, if you can see that, you can click on that, and you can actually go to get directions, and it'll take you directly to the Cold Springs Winery. All right, a person can actually uh, uh, tag an area. So right now I'm at my studio, 
and it's telling me I'm really close to Miller's concepts. And it will actually it will tell you I'm six meters away from Miller's concepts. And you can kind of point where that direction is. So if you're if you're close to a um, coffee shop, it'll, it'll say okay you're closer. Now come up with the icons on all the way down here. So whoever you're subscribed to, it'll, it'll start you will loading up where you're at. And that's the cool thing about this this product. All right, I'm going to show you how to do this. It's really 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 simple. You basically you click on the arrow right up here, or the, the, the camera. And then you get this screen right here. Next, you need to line this up to the object that you want to scan in, okay? And once that meter reads green, that means you're good. And the cool thing about this, um, this will, will there's two different, uh, there's a guy with the tower in the back and, and that would broadcast everywhere but if you want to play a game and if you want just to go I want the person to go directly to this spot so you can scan this in to get uh, the next clue or next promotion or next whatever so what I'm going to do is move this over to the world and that will tell the person you need to go to the exact spot to scan this in to get the whatever alright so what I'm going to do is I can take a picture All right, the next thing you can do, you can go to your iPhone that stores everything on there, your images, your videos, or anything like that. Or you can you can go to animation or, you know, Rasma animation or Rasma images or Rasma 3D or Rasma um, videos and everything. But what I normally do is I, I go through my pictures and I can actually add video to it. So I'm just going to add like a little video of this of the dog and everything. So you just go, you upload it. Give it a name. We'll say, uh, or a cow poster. Okay, I got some channels that are already in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a, make an existing, and I'll go to uh, Miller's Concepts, and then go next. Now you get to edit, and how do you want to see the video? So this is a video actually. So I'm gonna pinch it, and maybe expand it a little bit. Next, you push save. Now it's all on your phone. So, so you see how I just okay. Now watch it. So that's what people see, and you leave clues. All right, so that's what people see, and now you can leave clues or promotions or, or just you know educate people. Um, now you start you starting to see this. Now there's little images right here and here. Oops, that was the image. That's the image of that. So if there's more than three images in this area, you know, like ten meters or anything like that. I think it's ten meters. Um, then it will pick on this, and then you can look at it, and you'll say, okay, where's that at? And you walk to it, and then you see the image, and oh, and you, and you scan it in, okay, and go from there. All right, if you're going to watch part two, this is all about uh, promoting your business, ideas for using Erasma, and just lots of other cool things. So watch part two. Thanks.